If it doesn't resonate, check your sun, moon, or raising. Okay, guys, I'm using the Tarot of Sexual Magic. And then you're going to have to bear with me, but I got these new cards, and they are called the Hermetic Tarot, which is really weird. <laughs> and I'm trying, it's completely different from like regular tarot. I mean, this is different, you know, in itself because it's so focused on love, right? But this is like totally out of my element. So I'm learning them. So if I read my book, you know, sorry, but they're super accurate and crazy and weird. So I wanted to like play with them today and, you know, whatever. Anyways, if it doesn't resonate, check your summon raise. And if it does, you can always contact me on my email below. Okay. So right off the bat, we have um, Leo, Virgo. So you, some of you could definitely be overthinking love, right? I feel like a lot of us are going through transformation, endings, new beginnings. It's kind of this super blue. I mean, I, I'm not really into astrology. And I think this is going to really help me get into more astrology so that I can help you guys more and just have a more understanding about the stars. And that's really what this is about. It's about the planets and, and you know, all that good stuff. So anyways, we had two, it was, I guess it was a double blue moon or double, yeah, a double blue moon, but it was, you know, we haven't had a full moon in February, so it's the first moon. And so everyone's kind of like Wah! crazy, right? So Anyways, um, we have the tower here. It doesn't surprise me. You know, we've got the five of swords. This is all about overcoming fears, taking a, a risk, but also being defensive. Okay. And maybe, you know, the seven of, um, or the five of swords is like ego, right? Putting that ego down, maybe not being so defensive, right? Because there's a disconnect here, right? There's these two people that aren't talking to each other, okay? And then we have, you know, needing to look beyond the superficial things. Like, what, are, you know, make sure if you're going to leave in the towers or you're going to break up or whatever, that you're really looking for, like, not just superficial things. Like, you know, your deal breakers, right? Cheating, uh, codependency, codependent things, you know. It all depends on what you're willing to put up with, right? Okay, well, you're coming in here with temperance. Temperance is about uh, two different energies coming together as one, mixing a potion. There is healing here. You know, in, in the tower, there is some sort of shock that's going to happen here. And maybe that's, you know, this new passion here. Because, you know, you're breaking it down, right, with the tower and you're rebuilding it again. And you're using your potion, you're... You're tempering your emotions, right? You're trying not to be so defensive, right? Try not to be that person, right? Turn around and talk to each other, right? Okay, so I don't know if I said this. I said Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Leo. Okay, you could be dealing with the um, fire areas. There's a series, especially a Sagittarius because you have the Temperance card here. You have a lot of major arcana, so I think this is going to be a weird reading after the moon, but... Um, we have the King of Cups, you know, this is Spice, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, but this is a committed uh, relationship, a bond, keeping it alive and not getting complacent, you know, so maybe some of you guys are overthinking love, right? And, and, um, and because it's boring, right? I mean, love isn't always like amazing, right? You have to like do things to make it more amazing, Okay, but um, we have strength here. This is control. This is staying strong. This is also taking control. And then um, forgiving others as well. So there's definitely a need to, like, tame that lion, tame that mouth. You know, uh, Tauruses can be kind of stubborn, right? There's a need to really be careful of the words that you say this month. And then you have the name of wands. Looking beyond appearances and wanting real love, needing real love. You know, maybe that's, you know, chemistry isn't just like handed to you on a solar platter. You got to work for it. You know, it's not, so, it's something that dies and then you got to see if you can get it back. If you can't get it back, well then, you know, it's over. But, you know, definitely try, right? And, it's, and I see you wanting to try here. There is this new beginning. There is this new passionate new beginning. We have passion, pregnancy, healing. There's a, like I said, there's a lot of healing that needs to happen in this relationship. And then also um, relief after a break. So maybe some of you, like I said, have had a break, right? And now you're overthinking love. 
or, you know, being too critical. Or this could go vice versa, right? This could be the other person. This is a general reading, so. Um, but this is a standstill, not communicating, okay? So it's like there's this ego here, right, with the five of swords. There's things that are petty, maybe petty, petty situations going on, but it's a transformation. You're going through a cycle. You've got the strength. You've got the temperance. You've got the hermit. And you got the devil. And what's funny is that they're actually each, actually at each corner. You know, and that's about force. Your stability. Your foundation. Okay? Hermit. Overthinking love. Missing out on love. So for those of you that are single, definitely needing to look beyond appearances. Okay? Um, we have... And I got this card, I swear... This card has come out for almost every single reading. And there's 12 signs. And I'm telling you, this card is like an every, everyone's spread. It's funny. It's not, I mean, it's just weird. Because I guess what we're really trying to do right now is figure out what we truly want, what we truly desire, what we truly need. And if we're not getting that, and, but we have to look deep, not just surface, right? Okay, Ace of Wands, uh, lose yourself in oneself. New love opening up. There could be, for some of you, there is this new love coming in. Could be this King of Pentacles. If you've recently separated, right? And this person is coming in to heal you. But there's, I still feel like there's a connection with somebody else. For those of you that are single, there's this tying to somebody else and maybe a little bit of unfinished business here. Then we have the tower, betrayal, jealousy. So let's see what's going on with that. That was easy. The moon, disillusionment, uh, confusion, lies, secrets. Someone definitely could be um, keeping secrets from you or lying to you. I want to pull one more on the moon card. I look up who's the clarification on the tower. And, and, and not only is the tower, it, okay, so the king of pentacles. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign that there is this tower moment and confusion and uncertainty, but needing to listen to your intuition. This guy has a fear of giving in, right? This could be you. You know, you're the one that's fearful of giving in. Maybe due to past betrayal as well. I want to see what is going on with the hermit. Love is not always long lasting. And like I said, overthinking love, you know, make sure that you're, I mean, I don't see, I, the only thing I see that's disillusioned is the moon and, you know, maybe not looking at the bigger picture. And that's what we really need to be looking at this month is the bigger picture on, you know, not surface level stuff. But this is, um, not, love isn't always lasting and it's not always going to be perfect. There's some sort of opposition. And there's definitely this holding on to something and needing to let it go so that something else can come in. Okay. For also for you, those of you that are, um, single. Father God, please give me clarification on this King of Cups. Who is this King of Cups? And please like and share and subscribe. I'm trying to build more and I'm trying to get back into this and, and get in here, diving in deep here this month. Ten of Pentacles, this is a stick it out or be alone. Endings or new beginnings, and that's exactly what I said. Some of you may be ending something with a Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer, okay? Especially with the tower here. Let me see what else I get. It can be rough with these generals, especially when you see so many. Um... I actually want to pull some Sevillas on that tower. I got pushing me clarification on the tower. What's going on with that tower? There, there does seem to be some confusion with an earth sign. And maybe this, um, 
earth sign is also, uh, if you're dealing with another earth sign, maybe they're kind of stalking you. You know, he's like going to her when she's asleep. You know? There's definitely a break in communication. Like not seeing eye to eye. Look up, please, clarification on this tower. And, you know, the tower is good because, you know, it breaks down everything that you know to be true to break it, to build it back up again. And the tower sucks. The energy sucks. There's no, you know, but there's some sort of surprise here. Get surprised. We'll see what's going on. Father God, please, clarification. And this isn't for all of you, you know. This is general, so take what resonates. But right here, it, it definitely looks like you need to listen to your intuition. There may be a breakdown in the foundation, a breakup. And you have the strength to get through it here. And someone could be coming in right after. See, here we are mourning somebody. You know, there's something happened, some sort of surprise happened. But it's a discovery, and, and I feel like there's secrets that may come out, or your intuition may show you things, but you have the sadness, the bound by a past, mourning, definitely mourning somebody, okay? Now, I want to use these cards, and I'm going to have to probably read, um, and there's the message card. There could be some sort of messages coming through, right? So, Father God, I come to ask you, how do I help Taurus? What do they need to know, Father God, from now until the end of March? How can I help them? How can I guide them, Father God? Please speak for me to speak for Taurus. How can I help them? How can I guide them, Father God? What do they need to know? I have three for clarifications. Taurus to help them to guide them, Father God. From your perspective, what do they need to know, Father God, for Taurus? I'm going to help them. I'm going to guide them for the God that they need to know. And I'll put it on pause so you guys don't have to wait for me to find the... And I'm an awful reader, so feel lucky that I'm actually reading on camera. <laughs> Father God, how can I help them? How can I guide them for the God? What do they need to know? From now until the end of March. Okay, and I'm just gonna I was gonna pull them from the top, but you know what? I want them to fly out. Father God, please give me a clarification for Taurus. Thank you. And there it is. Four of Cups. Okay, that's uh yeah. there's definitely some depression and mourning here, right? And uh it could be absolutely an ending or a beginning. Some of you are ending and beginning with, uh, there's the tower again. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the four of, um, four of cups. So hold on one second. Okay, so the four of cups reversed is all about new approaches to old problems. You know, finally seeing that cup, right? Pleasures approaching or end this. The two lower cups do not overflow from the center. Two leaves pass the right, left, from or across the stem until a large. So this is um, the moon in Cancer as well. So this could definitely have to do something with Cancer. The cancer appears below, above and below. And you kind of have those half moons here, I feel like. You've got the, I don't know if that's a crescent moon is what they say. Sorry, I'm still trying to figure these cards out. Okay, so then we have uh, the fortune, right? So hold on one second. <laughs> Okay, and another thing that I want to say here, you know, uh, especially with the Four of Cups, you know, this is also about turning around and really seeing what you have. 
you know, and not focusing on superficial things, like I said. And that just solidifies it with the Four of Cups, you know, because you're maybe you're finally going to see what you really want and desire and, and, and what your do's and your don'ts are. And either some of you are walking away and some of you are, are going through a transformation. You know, things change by the day, right? So, um, but this is the energy that's here now, right? Feel, finally seeing what you were, you know, keeping yourself in a depression to what you weren't seeing, right? Okay. And again, this is like God telling you, you have the strength to get through this. You have the strength to make this decision. And for some of you, you know, there is pregnancy. There is this new passionate new beginning with somebody and it could absolutely be with the water sign. For some of you, you're leaving an earth sign and you're moving to a water sign, right? Or some of you are going to a water, yeah, I said that water sign, we're leaving earth. It could go vice versa. Uh, there's, there's no way about it. And then, but this is strength, fortune, courage, power, control. You know, this is the strength card. It's all about Leo, right? And there's some passion here. There's definitely some passion, some healing, some relief, taming that lion. This is perseverance. You know, she's about to get down. She's got this flame and she's ready to go forward. And I feel like, you know, this month, Taurus, and, and to have two, um, and then here's the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So an earth sign definitely is prominent if that's not, you know, your energy. But, you know, you could just be feeling super empowered. But there's going to be a sudden, through this, through this break, right, there is going to be an awakening with that tower. Okay? And and you have the strength to stand tall, to stand strong, right? You know, this and, and this deck, he looks creepy. He almost looks like the devil. I, I never see, like the this card the king of pentacles as like being creepy but he creeps me out in this one i don't know what it is and this is the chariot he's on the chariot he's got if you can see him this is weird because you know he's sitting here on this can you know chariot's cancer so this could be somebody with cancer in their chart right um But there's, there's definitely healing here happening. Maybe there is healing from a situation. I'm going to get too deep into it, especially with these cards. But um, let me look up the tower real quick. Okay, so in this deck, the it's ambition, it's fighting, it's war, it's courage, it's destruction and ruin, change, breaking down beliefs. You know, and you've got the tower twice. There is going to be huge transformations to a huge breaking down on what you thought to be true is like there's going to be a realization here right the lord of the gates of the matter i am um, sits on the fence figuring that the pan is hurry body goat's head see bat's wings oh what am i talking about <laughs> Okay, forgive me. I'm like 18 minutes in. I need to I need to stop here in a minute. Okay, the blasted tower. Um, like I said, ambition. But this is sorry. I was reading the devil. You know, this lightning is 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 here to just to just to start chaos, to start destruction, to to break down all this. You know, and these people are falling here. You know, we do have. Um, I think what is the tower? It's a symbol of Mars, and it appears on the left of the card. And, you know, it's weird because I feel like, you know, it's black and white. You know, if you look at this, um, the, you know, the, um, the lightning, it's like, it's very set in stone. It's very, this is how it's going to be. If I don't get what I want, then I'm leaving. I'm, I'm moving. I, this could be somebody moving. This could be, 
you know, um, this is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna let I'm gonna stop right there. But there, there's a lot happening for you guys. But I feel like you have the strength to get through. You have temperance, balance your emotions. You know, um, you're a grounded person, anyways. And and a lot of you tourist women out there are very strong, anyway. So, um, I wish you nothing but the best. And men, 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 Tauruses are very strong too, as well. Not gender specific here, but anyways, wish you nothing but the best. God bless, and hopefully I'll see you soon for your mid readings if I can get them out.